Hello and welcome to this short video where I'm going to be giving an introduction to the IB, the International Baccalaureate Educational System. So first of all, it's good to have an understanding of the background to the IB. Well, it was set up, uh, the idea came about in 1963 um, when a group of schools in Geneva um, looked at having a international education system and for uh, five years they developed a system of syllabus and learning objectives and assessments and this was introduced to a small group of schools in 1968. Since then the IB has become immensely popular. Um, there are three programs. There is the PYP, the primary years program for the students in primary school, middle years program for like middle school, lower secondary and then the diploma program for high school. Okay, so it now covers children from three years old up to 19 years old. Furthermore, the IB is now offered in more than 3,400 schools, over 150 countries, and almost 200,000 students taking IB exams each year. So it's going to be very, very popular. The IB mission statement has a, a statement which is rather different from other educational systems. It aims to develop inquiring, knowledgeable, and caring young people who help to create a better and more peaceful world through intercultural understanding and respect. So, you know, you can see this was developed in the 1960s in Europe. It really kind of has that, um, you know, that feel of working together to make the world a better place. And this is the mission statement that was developed then, and it's, it's still adhered to. And schools are, are required to adhere to it. And it's important to keep this in mind. Inquiring, knowledgeable, caring young people. Okay, to help create a better, more peaceful world. So it's not merely a curriculum, but it's a, you know, a mission to transform the world through education. And that's an important thing to remember. And that's really what they're, they're aiming to do. Okay, so these are very lofty ambitions. How on earth will the IB schools achieve this? How, are they, how do they think they can make the world a better place? Well, let's have a look and we'll see. Well, this diagram is excellent. It really sums up everything about the IB program, okay? Um, but it's a little bit confusing when people look at it the first time. So I'm going to break it down into, into sections and, and go through them in this video. Firstly, one of the most important things is that it's a transdisciplinary themes. Students learn through transdisciplinary themes. So that means um, topics of study um, which can be related to English or mathematics, or sorry, languages, mathematics, sciences, social studies, different, different things like that. Also, there are specific subject areas which are covered, like a kind of traditional school in that respect. Um, the approaches to learning and the approaches to teaching, which make it special. There's the learner profile, which you can see there is right at the center of this um, diagram. And that's because it's right at the center of the IB philosophy. And I'm going to explain that in a minute. And by doing all of these things, we have, you know, helped to develop international mindedness, which leads back to the IB mission statement about making the world you know, a better place. What have you. So let's break this down. First of all, there are the transdisciplinary themes, who we are, where we are in place and time, how we express ourselves, how we organize ourselves, sharing the planet and how the world works. Now, within each of these, there are a number of different kind of uh, topic points um, and uh, projects that the children do. And as they do these, like I said, they, they're transdisciplinary. So they link up with languages, they link up with science, they link up with mathematics, they link up with social studies, okay? And when they're focusing on this one topic, um, they all the teachers are, you know, bringing all these ideas together and they're learning them in a very sort of um, transdisciplinary way. So this is a very important thing to remember. As well as being transdisciplinary, there are subject areas which must be covered. So when they're doing the transdisciplinary learning, uh, it's important that, that they touch on each of these groups. So languages, society, sciences, mathematics, arts, and physical education. Okay. So that when they're learning on a topic, for instance, one of those topics, maybe they are focusing on, you know, transportation in a city. And then obviously they'll use languages to discuss those things. They'll look at the impact of transportation on social studies. 
they'll look at uh, transportation from a science perspective. Um, they'll use mathematics to, to look at it more deeply. They'll also do arts about it, how, you know, um, transportation can, you know, impact a city and what have you. And then physical education as well. It's all be linked in together in the transdisciplinary theme. Okay, what's very special about this is obviously to do those transdisciplinary learning and to cover all those subjects in that kind of homogenous way, they need a specific approach to teaching and learning. So IB educational philosophy is based on a constructivist understanding of how people develop knowledge and make meaning. Okay, And this has implications for their teaching and their learning. Okay, So when teachers teach in the IB program, they teach to make sure students are learning in this in this manner. Inquiry is a very central point, okay, and it leads and the inquiry leads the teaching and the learning in IB. So students are collaborating projects uh, and challenges, and they go to do research and they develop the social skills and their thinking skills. Also, when they're doing this inquiry and this project work, they're developing communication skills and self management skills. So these are the uh, approaches to approaches to teaching. These are the skills which are developed. Through these various activities, students will explore and develop multiple meaningful ways to acquire knowledge. Because they're learning in you know, a very sort of hands-on way and a different hands-on way every time they do different projects. Teachers focus on helping students understand concepts rather than memorizing skills. And that's very, very sorry, memorizing facts. So developing understanding of concept, developing skills. These are the focus, not the focus on memorizing facts or memorizing um, formula or anything like that. It's, it's how to understand the concept and how to have the skills to be able to apply those skills. And that's central you know, in the approaches to teaching and learning in the IB. As I mentioned earlier, at the center of the IB, is the learner profile and these are 10 attributes that they encourage all students in IB schools to develop and the teachers are constantly helping to reinforce these attributes and encourage students to develop these these skills so to be inquirers as I mentioned inquiry is essential to teaching and learning to be knowledgeable to be a thinker to be a communicator to be principled okay that ties in with the making the world a better place you know and helping develop the world in a good way, to be open-minded, yeah, to be caring, to be a risk taker, to be balanced and to be reflective. Okay? And you'll see in many IB schools there are there are um, there's artwork around the schools and there are awards for children who, who meet these goals and uh, they're really um, supported to to realize and develop these very important attributes international mindedness every aspect of the school culture must embrace international mindedness on a daily basis so students are always thinking about themselves and their place in the world and how to you know realize the ib goal making the world a better place a student who exhibits the attributes of the learner profile is truly an internationally minded student so you see these attributes here principled caring open-minded communicator these are all skills that will allow, enable them to become you know internationally minded. So I think now you have a better understanding of when you look at this wonderful diagram, this wonderful image, um, that it makes a lot more sense now. You see there the IB learner profile in the middle, approaches to learning that support that, the subjects, the transdisciplinary needs and ultimately being international minded students. So that really is a brief summary of, of what International Baccalaureate Education is all about. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope that's helped you to understand this uh, fantastic education system a little bit better. If you have liked it, please do uh, click like. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave me a question. Thank you.